Hi friends, I am Sujoy and I am back with a new tutorial for you. In this video, you will learn how to find out determinant of a 4 cross 4 matrix by row reduction method. I have another video on Chios method. By Chios method, you can also find out determinant of a square matrix. I would definitely recommend you to watch that video. It is better to learn more than one methods. So if you want to watch that video or any of my previous videos, link to all of them is given in the video description below. So check them out. So for now, let's start the row direction method. So before we start the calculation, let me tell you some basics. As you may know, this is called row 1 or R1. This is R2, this is R3 and this is R4. Similarly, this is called column 1 or C1. This is C2, this is C3 and this is C4 and this is called the diagonal. There are two diagonals in a matrix. One is left diagonal, another is right diagonal. But generally, we consider the left diagonal, which is the principal diagonal. And all the numbers on the principal diagonal are called the principal diagonal elements. So here 1, 11, 14 and 10 are called the principal diagonal elements. Next is order of matrix. Order of matrix is given by number of rows into number of columns. So here order of matrix A is equals to 4 cross 4 or 4 into 4 where the first number 4 represents number of rows and second number 4 represents the number of columns. So here both the numbers are same. So it's called a square matrix. A square matrix is a matrix where number of rows is equals to number of columns. So square matrices are of many orders, 2 into 2, 3 into 3, 4 into 4 and so on. So what is our objective? Our objective is to reduce this matrix A by row operations into a upper triangular matrix like this one. Upper triangular matrix is a matrix where all the numbers are on the upper part of the matrix including on the diagonal and all the numbers below the diagonal are 0 and this representation of matrix where all the numbers below the diagonal are 0 is called the row echelon form or REF. So by row reduction method we get all the numbers 0 below the diagonal. So we have to get zeros at this position, at this position, at this position at this position, at this position and at this position. So step number one, first you have to check whether this number is zero or not. So if this element is zero, then you have to interchange the row one with any of the rows, row two, row three and row four. So that we get a non-zero number at this location. The number may be positive or negative, but not equals to zero. Step two, after doing that, you have to check all the rows and all the columns whether they are multiple of any number or not. Here as you can see the row 1 is multiple of 2. So we will divide the row 1 by 2 and take that number outside of determinant. So that I have written mathematically here R1 is equals to R1 by 2. So let's do it. 2 divided by 2 is 1, 8 divided by 2 is 4, 4 divided by 2 is 2 and 6 divided by 2 is 3. After doing that, you will get this matrix with the common value outside. Next, to get a 0 at this position, we can multiply the row 1 by 2 and subtract that from row 2. That I have written here, R2 is equals to R2 minus 2R1. So let's do it. 1 into 2 is 2, subtracted from 2 is equals to 0. 4 into 2, 8, subtracted from 11 is 3, written here. 2 into 2, 4 subtracted from 7 is equals to 3 written here and 3 into 2 6 subtracted from 9 is equals to 3 written here. Next we will move to row 3. To get a 0 at this position we can multiply the row 1 by 5 and subtract that from row 3. So that I have written here R3 is equals to R3 minus 5 R1. So let's do it 1 into 5 5 subtracted from 5 is equals to 0 written here. 4 into 5 20 subtracted from 23 is equals to 3. 2 into 5 10 subtracted from 14 is equals to 4. 
3 into 5, 15, subtract from 18, is equals to 3, written here. Next, to get a 0 at this position, we can multiply the row 1 by 3 and subtract that from row 4. So that is written here, R4 is equals to R4 minus 3R1. So let's do it. 1 into 3 is 3, subtracted from 3 is equals to 0. 4 into 3 is 12, subtracted from 14 is equals to 2. So 2 into 3 is 6, subtracted from 8 is equals to 2, written here. And 3 into 3 is 9, subtracted from 10 is equals to 1, written here. So we have got 3 zeros in these positions. Next, we have to also form zeros in these locations. But before doing that, after obtaining any matrix, you have to check whether any row or any column is multiple or not. So here you can see the row 2 is multiple of 3. So we will divide the row 2 by 3. So that I have written here, R2 is equals to R2 by 3. And we will take this 3 out along with the previous 2. Next to get a 0 at this position, we can multiply the row 2 by 3 and subtract that from row 3. That is written here R3 is equals to R3 minus 3R2. Remember, in this case, we will not use the R1 because if we do any operations with R1, then this one will interact with these zeros and will vanish the zeros. So that's why we will use the row 2 to make row 3 0 since the row 2 has a 0 at this position. Similarly, you can use the row 3 to make row 4 0 if the row 3 has 0 at this position. That depends on the question, but the logic I have explained to you. So to get a 0 at this position, we can multiply the row 2 by 3 and subtract that from row 3. So R3 is equals to R3 minus 3 R2. So 1 into 3 is 3, subtracted from 3 is equals to 0. 1 into 3 is 3, subtracted from 4 is 1. And 1 to 3 is 3, subtracted from 3 is 0. Next, to get a 0 at this position, again we can multiply the row 2 by 2 and subtract that from row 4. So that is written here, R4 is equals to R4 minus 2R2. So let's do it. 1 into 2, 2, subtracted from 2 is equals to 0. 1 into 2, 2, subtracted from 2 is equals to 0. And 1 into 2, 2, subtracted from 1 is equals to minus 1. So since we have obtained a lower triangle of zeros, our calculation part is done. We will find out the determinant which is given by product of all the elements in the diagonal into any outside values. So that is equals to 2 into 3 into 1 into 1 into 1 into minus 1. So that is equals to minus 6. This is our required determinant. So that's it for now. How was the video? Let me know in the comments below. I will upload more videos. So don't forget to subscribe to YouTube channel so that when I will upload my next video, you will get an email if you subscribe. And it takes a lot of effort and research to make a video like this. So if you appreciate my effort, please like and share the video. So thanks for watching. See you in my next video. And still then, stay connected by subscribing.